guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an exciting one because I've been wanting to try this foundation for a while. It's been sitting in my room for like two weeks and I just haven't had the chance to do a first impression because I did want to do a first impression on this um, foundation. So today's first impression is going to be the Hourglass Vanish, the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. Um, first impression. I haven't used it before so yeah, let's just get started. First of all, I am going to get a cotton pad and I am going to be using a toner and this is the Garnier Pimple Reducing Toner and I love this. I've been using it for a while and I just think that it just works the best for my skin. We are going to moisturize so I am going to use the Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion. So I just have it on a stippling brush and I'm just going to apply it like I usually do. So I'm just going to let the um, moisturizer set on my face. Just read a bit about it on the box. So formula is high concentrated, only a small amount is needed. Lightly dot foundation on the forehead, cheeks and chin and blend with a brush. For the most seamless finish, use the Vanish Foundation brush to blend foundation in a light sweeping motion all over. Well, I didn't buy the brush um, because the foundation is expensive as it is. I think it was $67. I'm pretty sure it was $67, so it is quite expensive. So I am just going to go in with my Inoxa Pure Silk Skin Primer. I usually just put primer where my pores are, so I don't usually put it like around here and stuff. So it won't be in my, like it won't be around this area, so we'll see if the primer is different. So if it worked with the primer, if it didn't. But I got the shade Warm Beige. Um, I tried it there and this one was just a very nice olive kind of skin tone looking so i just bought this color i'm actually quite scared because i've heard so many good things about this so i swipe it does say use a brush i don't know if i should use a beauty blender for one side and a brush for the other i'll just use a brush i'm just going to use the tarte laptop Kabuki buffer brush and I'm just gonna blend that in so I'm just gonna start buffing it in so what I can see it doesn't look like it's too full coverage so what I've just blended like I feel like you can still see my skin it actually blends out very quick though like, I feel like I'm not even blending anything through. I don't know. You know what? I'm going to go in with another layer because that... It's like... It looks like my skin still... It looks like my skin. It isn't that tacky, I guess. It's very... Like, it's actually dried up a bit. Um, from what I can see, it doesn't look like a matte finish, but it doesn't look like a dewy finish as well. It just looks like medium. By the way, my my skin type is medium to oily. Um, usually just my T-zone does get oily and the rest of my face is normal. Um, so yeah, just my T-zone does get oily. So just if you want to know my skin type and if you want to try it for yourself and yeah. So let's just go with another layer. It blends out so quick. Like I feel like like just one swipe and it's blended out. So yeah, I'll just come back when I've finished everything else and see how it blends with everything else. So yeah, I'll just be back for that. Um, so this is the final finish. Um, it has worked so well with blending out everything else. My concealer, with my highlighting, with my contouring, with my bronzing, it just works so well. I just love the way it just, it just blended. So the first round that I did with the foundation, it was very light. It felt like there was nothing on my face. It actually feels like there's nothing on my face right now. Like I don't feel like I've got foundation on, which is really odd because I do. I've got two layers and the second layer is quite thick. Um, but it doesn't look cakey from what I can see at the moment. I don't look cakey. I thought I was going to when I first put this, when I sec when I put the second layer, I thought I was going to be so cakey, like it just looks cakey. But then when I blended it out with everything else, I don't know, I, I feel like 
I don't feel cakey whatsoever anymore. I will be coming back. It is currently 8.13 p.m. And I will be coming out back in like, like around 1 a.m., 1, 2 a.m. Yeah, I don't know. It just, from what I can see at the moment, it does look very nice. I have heard so many good things about this, so I just want to see if I like it myself. My favorite um, foundation has to be for drugstore. It's the Garnier Free One Stain Fabulous. I think that's what it's called. My favorite um, high-end one is the Say Lauder Double Wear Foundation. So let's see if this replaces that. Um, nothing has replaced that. Um, that is just my fav favorite. We'll see um, if I like this. It is quite expensive, like I said before. I think it was $67. This packaging is very sleek, very um, easy for traveling, like very small. So it is a stick foundation, as you can see. It is creamy. It is very creamy and buttery. Like it just felt buttery. Like it felt very nice on the skin. Um, it still feels really nice. I actually feel like I don't have anything on my face, but I do. So this photo is with flash. It looks okay. It doesn't look bad. If my face doesn't look too white in the photo. Hi guys, I'm back. Um, and it's currently 2am. Yes, I know it's late. <laughs> um, so let's just look at it and see how I what I think of it. Let me just zoom you guys up so you can see better. It has sent into these lines that I have, these laugh lines. So my pores have come out completely. I don't know if you can see in the camera, but I can see that my pores have come out. I think I need to change the primer I use next time. Like, I don't know if you can see that, but I don't know what that is. I've wiped it off and it's a bit better. It's just a bit dry and like overall, I actually like how it hasn't made my face oily, like my T-zone, like I said before, my T-zone usually does get oily, but it hasn't, so I'm actually really impressed with that part of it. So yes, this is the end of the video, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you in my next one, bye!